Can't hear you yet. Something's going on. Uh, producer Spencer, can you look into this, Spencer? Spencer, can you hear me now? there we go. Spencer, yeah, we got it, Spencer. Don't worry. Just Thanks, my headphones off. Maybe that helps. So your picks have been top notch, at least the ones I remember. FUV. That that's one that that you were the first person I think who who ever gave us that ticker. And since then, I've heard it from like let's say literally two dozen people. Uh, you know, and that was probably three or four months ago. So you've been hot. Wh where are you at with that one? What are the other ones you like? And, and let's dig into it. Yeah, FUV. Still my biggest position. I got an average shot six six dollars and twenty nine cents on it. Um, can't believe Jason sold FUV. I, th I think he's going to lose pretty bad on that one to be honest. <laughs> Um, but um, yeah, I think I, I absolutely love FPV. Um, I but I'm in a brand new stock right now, another another penny stock, and um, like what FUV was, and it's curated ink ticker symbol C R T D. So, so Charlie Romeo Tango Delta. And I'm going to throw this chart up on the screen in a second here. But but before I do that, basically, you're, you're 12 years old. Is that right? Or 13 now? Yep, 12. And he does deeper fundamental research than. 95% of our show viewers, I would say. If the ideas alone aren't enough for this segment, the, the inspiration and the motivation from this segment should, should be enough to get you going. But all right, I'm, I'm pulling up the chart. I've got the CRTD up. Talk to me about that one. This, in a sense, makes me... I think this one's a bit special, to be honest. This is worth... This is the 30... Uh, almost $40 million penny stock. It, in my eyes, it's really undervalued. They have... They are basically a holding company or around three... They're three uh, companies, the main one. It's a company called Vocal. Vocal enables basically, it's a bit, a bit like Medium. It allows you to write, you know, post your things and, you know, get money for the amount of views you get. The thing which draws me to this one is Vocal's got over 810,000 users worldwide at the moment. I don't, I think the stock's really under the radar. Um, wait, wait, wait. When, when you say 810,000 users, is that people contributing content or is that readers? And they, these are people who have all signed up to the Vocal platform. And on top of that, you've then got around almost 8,000 people who are paying a premium price, which is $100 per year. And you basically get access. So if for every 1,000 views you get, if you are on a free account, you're going to get approximately, uh, it's, it's only some around three, $3.80 for every 1,000 views. Premium, you're going to get around $6. This this kind of stuff draws people in, you know, the whole idea of making all that whole idea of making money, you know, people people absolutely love. So the so you've got they're growing this from Q3 of 2019 from 250 users, growing this over almost around 60 percent every single quarter. The amount of premium users, if they can get enough premium users on Vocal, this could this could be a really massive revenue growth for them. All you need is a few influencers to go on Vocal, and then this stock, you know, could could, could go crazy. They've also got a second business, um, which they acquired re very recently, called Seller's Choice. This enables people to start Amazon businesses, Amazon web businesses, every everything you need to do with an Amazon business. And their third business, which partners with small companies, uh, micro companies like $3 million companies, that helps them improve their online platform. And they recently acquired a 30% stake in a company called Planet Food, or Planet Camp, which is basically the main product is a, a nutrient-rich mac and cheese. For, for kids, and that's uh, that company's growing over 100% every single quarter. They acquired a 30% stake in that for approximately $300,000 at $2.3 million valuation. They just got a brand new order, Planet Camp, for approximately 16,000 units, which is going to be about $400,000 in revenue, and that's going to be fulfilled by April of 2021. So buying these companies, which are all, all in the kind of online sector, which are all ramping up and, and starting to bring more and more users to their platform. No one's really heard of the stock yet. This could be the kind of stock which, which doubles in a, in a pretty short period of time. So I'm, I'm long this stock I brought on Friday and I brought more stock today. How did you find this one? This is a funny story. So I'm on, I'm on stock to it, um, just, just browsing through my thing. And I saw, I saw your, friend, your friend Rex Finance posted something about it. He said, I, I brought CRTD, he did no information on it. So that Friday, I spent about four hours worth of thing just looking into this stock. I mean, I, I think it's just it's just really undervalued. So so credit to Rex Finance for helping. All right, shout it. out Rex Finance. And when you say you spent four hours doing research on this thing, what, what were you looking at? Honestly, a lot of that was just spent on all the websites. Um, I went on Vocal for, for a bit. I was trying out was trying out the thing. Obviously, I don't want to invest in anything which is which has got a really bad, um, really bad kind of website. The Vocal website is really nice. I saw I created an account with all the the two other companies, Sellers Choice. So I created an account, an account with them and started to try out what they had. 
So I've been trying out this kind of thing. I've been I've been trying to dig deep into the financials of this one. It's um no one's no one's made a YouTube video of it yet. So or there's hardly any articles out on it. So I had to de dig pretty deep on this one, some of the vital information. But yeah, after reviewing everything, they've got enough to pay off all their debt. They've got plenty for short term debt uh, and enough for long term debt. So honestly, they're in such a good financial position. The management team's acquiring new companies all all the time, really. You know, picking up these hidden gem companies. And honestly, if they can continue acquiring the right companies, continue um acquiring you know companies which are obviously making making um really leading it in the online on the online front. You know, this this could be a ten dollars stock by the end of the year, in my opinion. So I'm gonna put out this disclaimer: it's very small, thirty one million dollar market cap. It's also low float. What what what's their revenue right now? Yeah. So this this is um it's a really low float. It's around it's currently around so like only around four hundred thousand dollars in revenue. So you're investing in what I would uh, basically say it's a startup. You're investing in a company which hasn't proven itself yet, but at the moment they're acquiring new companies. And I think I've got, I've got a small portion of my portfolio. I put about seven percent into of my portfolio into this, so I'm pretty bullish on it. Wait, uh, what know, percent kind of, of your portfolio? Kind of, seven? Around seven percent is kind of a okay. kind of a high risk, high reward play. But you know, if they can execute, like I remember at the start of the year, FUV, I know it's, it's, it's a whole different company. They were something like a hundred thousand dollars in revenue. It's kind of they're growing basically their main segments over on 100% year over year. If you can drive the premium growth on these and start driving more people, especially on vocal to the premium membership, which they're growing pretty rapidly, this stock can this stock, and if they can start monetizing it all a bit better, you know, that this revenue could get to possibly around uh, 800,000 to a million dollars a quarter. And you see, with so many companies which aren't making money at the moment, this can get hype. It's a kind of thing which can move very quickly. Is it a concern to you that they're in so many different business lines? They're not focused as a business, and it's sort of like this this scattershot approach. Yeah. So, created as a company is it's, it's going to be a holding company, I think. Everything is kind of a lot of sellers' choice in their main one of advertising. It's really all all near each other. It's all kind of intertwined. Their companies are very similar in what in what they make and what they and in you know kind of businesses which they have. So the companies are very closely linked, all in the online space. And honestly, I think it's they have their own set of management teams for each one of them, which they obviously overview pretty closely. But I would say I think it's a kind of company which. The acquisitions are, is going to what's going to drive the stock price. The growth in premium subscribers, right? This is our business. This is a business we know inside now, but better than anybody, right? You said they're at eight thousand now. What what was it a quarter ago or six months ago? In Q three, Q four, twenty nineteen, it was at like two hundred thirty. So they've obviously been they've been ramping up pretty rapidly recently, and they just I think they just want to show that they really can deliver, and is and they're driving these people into that premium membership, and it's growing constantly uh, quarter over quarter. I mean, it's definitely interesting when, when you are doing the numbers initially and you're like, they have 810,000 readers. I'm like, okay, we got 12 million on Benzinga. That's not much. But then when I see it's a $30 million market cap, it's like, okay, like this, this, <laughs> the, the valuation is probably in line on this thing. And look, I've look. heard of Vocal, so I know Vocal. Vocal I opened up this article. It says Vocal versus Medium. It's on their site. That's sort of the one that I want to read to start to understand the story. I'm going to drop that in the YouTube chat. Whoa, you just, wrote, you just like jumped in that microphone. Yeah, I know Vocal. Why don't look? Maybe have you have you reached out to management, young investor? I just sent an email to them today. You did? Okay. They get back yet? And um, uh, no, not yet. But I um I assume they're they're only a team of around around thirty people, so okay. they'll probably get back to me probably tomorrow ish because obviously I assume there aren't many um shareholders reaching out to make up for my FUV sell. I'm buying some shares of this, Luke, and we are going to reach out to management because the numbers seem somewhat in line considering where our numbers are, Luke. We would probably be on the market valued at around 150 million, is my guess. And there, our numbers are, you know, different. And so this is 39 million. There could be something here. I would like to know I how. Do too. Yeah, I would like I to know. Yeah, it. I would like to know how aggressive management is to grow because this thing. I went through their creator thing where you can create your own, like almost like Shopify thing, and mm. and it looks attractive i mean the ui and the work looked really nice and um, if, if people want to look at competitors out there there's like like Substack. i know is one oh, yeah. patreon is seems like a similar model so so there are companies in the space that are making a lot of money and raising at big valuations like i know if i had this software luke it created i would we would we would take sales of it if it's eight hundred thousand, we take it to eight million in one year uh, i, I totally it. agree if we applied this on benzinga.com and we got zinger yes. nation contributing Yes. Yes. If Zinger Nation contributed, we'd take this from eight hundred thousand revenue to eight million. So right, right there is a play. We'll buy it for forty million. Call the day. What do you think? Uh, <laughs> I like it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, dude, hostile takeover live on the show. That would be yes. a first yeah. for financial television. Okay. Well, hostile takeover. 
We're rallying. Uh, I, yeah, I, I just heard um, from a, from one of my sources, uh, something about Seeking Alpha, that Benzinga just acquired the whole of created for around $42 million. They paid a, they paid <laughs> no, a, no. They paid a steep $2 That's million dollar premium for it. Well, no, we, we, we did. We All did, right, yeah, young investor, I got to hop off, unfortunately. But, I love having you on, as you know. I'll finish up with the young investor. Keep, I'll finish keep up. going, guys, yeah. Yeah, um, we did Express Buy. We we almost impacted that business. That was another one that I think if they changed the pricing model, they would make a lot more revenue if they did it a subscription based versus a one time use because it's so expensive as a one time use versus subscription. But they haven't changed their model yet, so that is one. Upwork was another one. I brought it to everyone at twenty two dollars, twenty five, eighteen, and I got them to change their pricing model. And literally, the stock's not fifty two dollars. I am not taking credit for that move, but I did get them to change their pricing model. And whatever, you know, so that's uh, another one. I love how you find your picks. Now, young investor, you, you see things at your age differently than we do. Are there anything you're looking at, like roadblocks or anything like that on the younger side that you think could be attractive? Maybe you're not, you're not buying today, but you're studying it. Are there any, any stocks like that right now? I would say a trend. It's more of a trend. It's, it's, it's TikTok. I mean, on TikTok, you, you have, you know, I mean, there's um, this thing called Twisted Tea owned by the Boston Beer Company. Okay. Which I think was, I haven't brought, but I think it's going to make up for any losses they made from their beer. Their problems this quarter. Twisted Tea was a meme where a guy at the shop was saying, "Move, move, move." The guy didn't move, so he slapped him with some Twisted Tea. And oh that's really? It. Yeah, they and then they, I, won't, I won't, they won't repeat what they were saying. It was pretty rude, but they were slapped with some Twisted Tea. And the, and now obviously Google Trends that's been out the roof recently. There's a kind of thing where if you can arbitrage something, if you can look for what's the kind of thing which maybe is underestimated by the market. What are the people on TikTok? picking up on i mean it's kind of like there's so many kind of tiktok trends you can take advantage of so many small companies and micro caps which are going to be affected by this and they're going yep. to take all the analysts by surprise in a quarter basically thanks thanks to tiktok there's so many people on tiktok you know it's really short so people aren't watching through a, well, a whole like five minute thing it's only like one minute each each tiktok it's the kind of thing where you get some good memes out of it people just yep. go Go and buy a product for the meme, but the point is they're buying the product, and that's adding to the value, the revenue of the company. I mean, I'm also if you live in the states, especially, just call call up some of the local places, maybe where they're selling it. You know, maybe call I would say around three, because what um um I would say like if you get free and see how if they're selling out or not, you could really take advantage of that. I mean, there's a show in your in the states. I I can't even remember what's called now, but it's some it's some home thing when they then they renovated some homes or whatever, did something like that. So the whole okay. the whole show is basically one massive advert for this company which sold it all they just have signed a brand deal with them it's just an advert for it the whole thing was basically just it's a massive netflix series there's just one whole advert for this place which sold everything which i was talking about no i know that i also invested in one of those here netflix had um an organizer show uh it's a store that has organizing for your house that's, it, the, the that's it that's it that's oh, it oh that's what you're talking about yeah that's yeah, it that's what I, I invested a bunch in that. Yeah. So wait, we have two questions from the chat. Uh, see, I hate media because it's, it's so one way. They don't ever listen to the people in the audience. And so we're a two way thing here or we're like a five way. We're, we're all just talking. So we have two quick questions. One is behind you. There's a chalkboard or is that like wallpaper? No, to oh, your, other, your other side, your other shoulder, your other shoulder. Look the other way. No, no, no yeah, the I other side. Here, here. Yeah, yes, yes. Funny story that my mum, she's got, she's got her own kind of creative touch on everything. You know, she has all these kind of, all these kind of funky ideas in her, in her head. And she saw this wallpaper one time and I come home from this wall, and this wallpaper's on my wall. And I'm like, why did you get me this? And she was like, oh, I thought you'd like it. But I mean, Originally, I didn't like it, but I've got I've gotten used to it, and I, I do think it, it's pretty cool. I think it's quite it's quite funky kind of thing. Well, you know what they said in the chat? They said what? the the chalk is all your formulas for the future of the world and your math and how you analyze the companies. They said it's all your stuff, okay? And it, and it, it kind of looks like that, and I'm like, and you should just go with that because it makes you look really smart. I'm actually thinking this of this is what I this is what I do. This is what I do every day. I I write I write all my formulas on my wall. Exactly. I'm actually thinking of getting that wallpaper and putting it behind me and say, I write my formulas on the wall. I, I, I love it. I love it. You, how old are you? 12. Okay. How did you get into investing? This guy's great. Originally I got into investing. It just, it's just through kind of really YouTube. I'd heard of it. I knew a little bit about investing for very, very limited. I used to do one of the most geekiest things in the world alongside investing, maybe slightly geekier for about three years. I used to collect coins <laughs> like, um, like you can silver and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, coins here in the UK, there's quite a big kind of coin market. I used to buy these quite kind of rare coins, and over over the course of three years, the thing went up. I didn't realize it was investing 
technically I was. I can't, I lost interest in that. I've still got them in the attic. I'll probably I'll probably save them up and see how much I appreciate over time. But that was really my first taste of investing. And you know, I read I read a very uh, some little bits about. I used to be absolutely fascinated with history. And, you know, you'd see the rough kind of bits of that. So I read, and then I just saw an advert from the basically the UK version of Robin Hood's trading two on two. And I started investing. I originally put about $50 into, into an account. And I obviously I've invested a lot more after that. But I think my portfolio last eight months is up about 140 to 150%. I'm at some like $2,000 now. Can we make a course? I'm going to get my, my nine-year-old, 11-year-old a, a course for kids. We just bought an app that was like a kid app, but no one's using it. And I think we need to make a course for it for kids. And I and do you know who like Griffin Johnson is or any, any of the TikTok stars like Bryce Hall? Any of those guys? Do you know who they yeah, are? Yeah, so, They're yeah. like the big TikTok celebrities. Somehow I'm friends with them. I know. Well, I guess I'm old enough to be their dad, but I'm friends with them. Um, actually, if we win our football flag football game this next weekend against, have you ever heard of UWMC, the, the mortgage company? Have you heard of that um, one? It's a, it's okay. It's a wholesale mortgage company. It just went public. It was a, it was a SPAC. Was it for a reverse merger? Yes. Yes. It was a part of the yeah, SPAC. Yeah, yeah. Very, very limited by part of it. We're, we're going, we're playing against the CEO of that company next week. If we win that game, the whole TikTok crew from the, 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 the three most famous TikTok guys are coming in for our championship game. So I got to somehow figure out how to win this flag football game next week. It's a big deal. I don't know what I'm, I, I can't even get my work, my work done this week. Cause I have to get like this flag football game. So if we do that, then we get the TikTok guys, you create a course, we create an app and literally every single kid, the ages of nine to like 14 could be exposed to this because we'll have the three biggest TikTok guys. We'll have you, as the lead voice, I mean, we got something here, right? Yeah, I mean, look, if you can do anything with TikTok stars, it is bound to be successful. That's you know, true. TikTok is the place to be if you want to try and if you want to really try and um, get get influence. For example, just that vocal. If, if a TikTok has started putting links to a vocal article, vocal's going to take off, or what well, medium's going to take off? It's got or medium's going to have a big spike in demand. It's kind of like TikTok's going to move companies. I agree. We have a decent TikTok of like 35,000 users. I love this. And I and no one put your trade in yet. I'm going to put your trade in here. So we have this system called Benzinga.com slash trade dash ideas. Actually, I'll share it on the screen right now. I'm going to put your thing in here, but this is kind of cool. Watch this. Hold on one second. So I don't know if you could see the screen right now. This is where we yeah. catalog all trade ideas. So if like you wanted to see all my trades in the last like two months, you would like click my name somewhere, which I guess I'm, I don't know where I am, but uh, we'll go Luke Jacoby because he's there. All his trades. So you see like the reason and what the price is and the move. So I'm buying this uh, the stock that you came today with. What was the stock that we that we're buying? CRTD. So I bought yes, CRTD. CR yeah, created. So I'm going to hit going long and the asset is CRTD. Allocation <laughs> bought and I'm going to buy a larger position than I know. Okay. And I'm going to say I bought because the young investor gave me not financial advice gave me not no i'm gonna say did some due diligence i can't spell diligence on it and likes it long term small revenues but a lot of upside okay so now what's beautiful about this is two months and i forget why i did something or why i sold something i can go here and then see my history so i don't put them all here i forget like i bought imr at five dollars it's at 14 and I bought, um, what was that one? That, uh, Yatra people talk about NMDM. I bought it 12, four from Kathy Wood and she bought it at 12 and 12, four, like five, $6. Um, and I have my history of all my trades here. Um, not all, but a decent amount. I'm starting to put more in, but BCRX. And it's a way just for me to like look back in history and see it and not have all this noise. So what I find mm -hmm. on the social media is a lot of noise. And so what I'm trying to do is diminish the amount of noise so I can go, and look at what my what my brain was thinking, why I did such and such. You brought up the point about FUV. So I bought FUV. I bought it. I thought the CEO was smart. I like the three-wheeler concept. And I'm actually like in shock that I sold any of it. And I don't even know how that happened because I had because Sandy Monroe, who you probably don't know. Do you know who Sandy Monroe is? That's why I invested in the company because of Sandy Monroe. Are you I've effing his, sorry? I've, I've, are you kidding me? I've seen his breakdowns of the Teslas, I, the BMWs. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have Sandy Monroe. I'm going to have Sandy Monroe on this show this week. Yeah, I, I'm subscribed to his YouTube channel, Monroe Live. Do you, do you know where he lives, Sandy Monroe? I don't know. You're not, you're, not, not, you're not supposed to know. Like 20 minutes for me. Ooh. I think, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to his studio, his um, place, and do his show there. do the show there on Wednesday. So I bought FUV. Originally, I didn't know Sandy Monroe was involved. Once I found out, 
I went long and long and long. Okay. And then I forgot what I think when I was just trying to, I was trying to get my margin down and I sold my, oh my God, whatever. Anyway. So that's Sam. That's interesting that you look, you watch Sam Rona too. He's the best. He's the guy that took the model three apart and was just so amazed at how Tesla does continuous innovation, how they could continually upgrade the car and don't stop. That's what he's the, that guy. And that, that drove Tesla stock up another 20%. And then I'm sure you saw Elon Musk. He interviewed Elon Musk last week. Yep. I watched the whole, I watched the whole one. I love, I love how Sandy's the kind of guy who's not afraid to say what he thinks, you know, to say whatever. He's not, he's not afraid of anyone, you know, he, you know, he's, he's, he was talking about Elon at the start, like, why is this Model 3, why is my Model 3, um, which was made one month before another Model 3, which is absolutely perfect, why is, why is mine not? It's kind of like Sandy Monroe, you know, he's, a, he's an absolute engineer. I agree, I agree, this is great. Any other stock picks, anything else you want to talk about, or... We're good, and we'll we'll get you on next week. I think you should come on for a segment every week for five minutes. Give a pick or give an update on a old pick, and then uh, when I get the if we win this flag football game this week, then this this app is on. Well, look if if producer if producer Aaron or I think it's producer Aaron. Yeah. They want if they want to organize time. I'm more than happy to go on five minutes every week on a Monday or whatever. Okay, that's great. Tell your parents to be proud that chalk eraser thing on the back. Maybe tell your mom to send it to me so I can uh get some of that um, so I can look smart like you. Okay, but you you don't just look smart. You are smart. Me on the other hand, if I had it behind me, I'll look smart, but I won't be smart. So you wait, wait. I've got a thing. I've got a thing which will which this is, I'll get what I call my my nerdy mode on. Oh, now that I see you like that. Can we get your mom and dad on the phone? I want to see if we can hire you because now I know you're really smart. All right. So now we got to see if we can Everyone hire you. Everyone should have a pair of glasses and it instantly takes your smartness levels up 10% because uh, I, everyone I think thinks that. you look really leaky and um, really geeky and nerdy. So I was like, oh, that gets smart. If you, if you wear some glasses. What time is it over there? 6.15. PM, right? Uh, yeah, PM. Okay. I didn't know if it was a, I don't know. I'm just not thinking. Okay. Do you have like friends, older friends that are like are out there that would be like good are there good like love the stock market some are some kids i know in the states who do that there's a there's this uh, there's another person who's like well, he's 19 I, but there's a 19 year old on twitter who, um, really Owen yeah, Scott. yeah there's the, there's a 19 year old on twitter that you're that, that you're friends with yeah that, so that, i'm friends with um some other teenage investors and also there's a person called owen sparks he's like 19 and he brought tesla um this year in like january ish and he's hoping Eventually, it's gonna in a few years' time, like six years down the road, it's gonna pay off his house. That's what really, I'm yeah. I'm getting a new computer in March for my birthday, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start doing more interviews, but I'm gonna stream it live on YouTube just because I can't be bothered to upload it. Or what are you having, gonna stream on YouTube? What are you I'm gonna a young st- investor on YouTube? But, um, how often? Um, so I don't, I don't stream at the moment, but at the moment, I do no, around I two videos. I- I know. That's why I'm saying like, we're right now doing like 10 hour. We'll, we'll talk on the side. I, I have an, I have an idea. Okay. I have an idea. All right. I look forward to hearing your idea. Yeah. I, ha- I have an idea that I think could work. I forgot about my DoorDash order that's supposed to be here and it's here now. So I have to like get someone to get my DoorDash right now. So All right. you're awesome. Thank you for coming on. And uh, we will, time. yep. We will have you on again. And thanks for the stock picks. I picked up some I'm, shares, a few others. We'll see. And I'm we'll big, do more diligence. Hey, when you, if you have more I'm, diligence and they get back to you from that company, let us know too. Uh, we'll get your update. Okay. So let us know too. And hopefully your um, door dash person can actually find your building. Was, uh, I had, I had some people can't find buildings with statues outside them. Oh my God. How do you know all this? You watch the show all I'm the time? Yes, they stream. I, I had, a, I had, a, I had a bit of time. I, I, I was just watching yesterday's stream and I'm, I'm in the chat and producer Aaron was just like, oh, yeah, come on the show. And that's that's why I'm here today for, I think it's my oh first my time. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, yeah, I heard a lot of <laughs> people I, I love, you pretty- DoorDash called me, by the way, this weekend. <laughs> they they saw the video. So, <laughs> yep. So, yeah, that's it's a true story. Yeah, DoorDash is here at our building right now, supposedly. And the guy is like taking a photo. Wait, did he take it? Oh, he left it at the thing. Here he goes. He did it. All right. The food is downstairs. The food is downstairs, Spencer. Spencer, can you go get it? Thank you, young investor. Much love. We love you. All right. And keep doing what you're doing, man. Very impressive. Thank you. Okay.